So I've used this pitcher mushroom for a few weeks. So I thought I'd show you how it's how it works. You press the button, and then it's going to ask you to take two photographs, a side view, which we have right here. And then it's going to ask you to take a bottom view. In other words, it's going to ask you to take a photograph of the underside. If I can do this with uh, one hand. then it identifies a mushroom. And this one it got correct. This is two color bullet, species of Barangia. And then we, they give you a warning that, that, that you shouldn't touch mushrooms, you shouldn't eat them or do anything based on the information you, that you get from this app, which is a good I, which is good and I'll explain why. But here we have some more pictures. So we have the fruiting body, we have the cap, we have the flesh and we have the pores. You'll see in the flesh one, see those blue things? That's similar to mine because when you touch the underside or bruise it, they call it, it turns blue. There's the pores. So you have these photos to look at more closely, which is good. Uh, but uh, distribution, uh, what time of year do you find them? Where can you find them? Let's check where you can find them. Commonly found in deciduous woodlands and usually growing under or close to broadleaf trees, especially oak. And that's where I find them. It's so named because it's a bicolor, so named because it sports a deep brick red cap, uh, sometimes, or yellow, and a stem with a canary yellow pore surface. It could be, it could fairly be the three colored bullet, though as injuries of the poor turn a deep shade of blue in a matter of minutes. Habitat, growth, smell not distinctive. Uh, how to identify it? They get a little more information here. So, there you go. Now, of course the problem is that, we'll save that. The problem is it doesn't identify a lot of things correctly. Uh, and the here's just some things I've been working with it. Uh, here's a mushroom that it says is a king bolete, oh, king bolet, king bolet, and uh, I don't think it is. So uh, this, this just isn't ready, I could say, for prime time anyway, but. To use this, you could use this to try to have it guess what, what species it is. And you do have to know the species with mushrooms or narrow it down to a group that doesn't have a lot of things that look similar to it. And uh, you just gotta be extremely careful with mushrooms. Mushrooms are hard to identify because they're not as rigid in, in structure as plants. Yeah, plants, uh, the bark on a tree or stem can change. Sometimes the leaves are different shapes on the same plant. The flowers are pretty standard. One of a particular species are always the same. So it's much easier to identify plants. And they have a picture of this app, which does pretty good for identifying uh, plants. But the uh, mushroom app called Picture Mushroom uh, just isn't as good. Now, will it be next year? Maybe. I got it because the tail end of this year, we're getting a lot of mushrooms and I want to test it and see how it works. So 
I would say that it isn't working well enough yet. Now, there's never going to be a case where you let it identify it and then you just accept that and you eat it or use it for some medicinal purpose or something. That's never going to happen. You're going to have to take the ID that it gives and you're going to have to go to either your field guides or to an authoritative site on the internet, there are some, and uh, go through everything about that mushroom and see if your mushroom matches or not. Because again, if you're going to put this in your mouth, eat it or put it on your skin, whatever, you have to be 110% sure. And uh, this just doesn't identify like that. And uh, you do have to still take what it says and uh, work with that. You know, look up that name and try to see all those characteristics. And especially uh, if you're on a really good site, it will say, oh, here's the thing that looks like it and isn't it. Because frankly, there are uh, poisonous lookalikes to some mushrooms. So there we go. I guess I can give a thumbs up to the picture of this, which works on plants, but so far a thumbs down to picture a mushroom that works sort of on mushrooms.